Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here and showing all your love and support. I really do appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And make sure that your post notification bells are turned on so you know every single time that I post. So let's go ahead and tap into these messages real quick. I did go ahead and put up a new video for people that have a membership with me to receive exclusive readings. If you are interested in a personal reading, be sure to email me. All information will be in the about section. All right, so let's get this started here, Virgo. We have the Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups, and the Magician. Somebody here could be doing some type of sex magic. I'm not even going to hold you. Or somebody's trying to make you more attracted to them or them attracted to you. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Somebody is definitely wanting to share some sort of desires of passion. A passionate connection or intimacy. This is somebody that you, that you know that left your life. This could be a masculine or a feminine. You could have walked away from this relationship. Or felt it was necessary I feel like there were some harsh words that could have gone out or you told somebody what time it was because you don't play no games you could be an alpha female here okay but you do have another side to you like when it comes to beauty beauty exploration you have a mind of your own you don't have to be trained by nobody to think a certain way okay you are somebody that could be impulsive to do things, okay? But you do it with intuition, okay? You follow your heart or what your gut is telling you. You trust your instincts, all right? There could be a possible pregnancy or you just have a certain glow about you. I feel like life is good right now. And there's a lot of people that are going against you because of the light that you carry, and the energy and the magic um, abilities that you have. Okay. Let's see. Clarify the Ace of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Magician. Clarify all these cards. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Taurus Energy. Libra, Virgo, clarify Ace of Wands, the Knight of Cups to the Magician. We have the Seven of Wands, so somebody here could be shifting towards feeling uh, worried, defeated, or like somebody's trying to do something to you. Seven of Pentacles, I feel like you're waiting for the shoe to drop on the other foot, or somebody is here. The three of wands in reverse to the two of cups. So somebody here could be frustrated or mad that something is slowed down when it comes to a, a connection. Okay, or why is something taking longer than expected for me to get to X, Y, Z? Okay, this is somebody that wants to resolve some issues or has unresolved issues with you. Okay, you could have completed this cycle with a person, but somebody regrets not doing right by you. Okay, they feel stuck or somebody could be imprisoned in their mind or when it comes to being institutionalized. Okay, I feel like somebody jumped the gun and didn't realize what they missed until it was actually gone. So they ended up hurting themselves. They ended up ten of swordsing themselves when they should have been close to you in order to um, explore this ace of hazards. Okay. Let's see who your haters are. Who is trying to stop or block Virgo? Expose the haters. Okay, somebody is definitely doing some type of love spell or magic on you. Somebody's trying to alter your values and morals on making life decisions. The person that's causing you negativity could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. We have root work. 
someone seek someone to help you with a protection spell because somebody here that may be a masculine or carry masculine energy they're definitely playing in your root chakra they will play victim once they know they're losing yeah somebody here could be trying to go toe to toe with you when it comes to your spiritual talents or gifts here So we do have that you will witness somebody's karma for playing in magic or, or manipulating your energy through magic, okay? You will witness their karma. Somebody could be posting things directed towards you instead of coming to you directly, okay? We have stealing your ideas, pretended they invented them. I don't know what is wrong with these people and why they can't seem to get their life together. But somebody is stuck on everything that you do. Trying to use up your energy, but getting mad at you for what? For what? It's weird. Y'all are funky, rude, and wrong for doing this to Virgo. Look, hidden secrets can harm you. And we have great worry over nothing. You have nothing to worry about when it comes to your career. A wish will be granted. You have good luck when it comes to the wish. What's the message here? We have romances in the air. So I'm telling you, somebody likes you. This could be a water sign masculine or somebody that has water in their chart. Okay, somebody may want to give you a... Um, a arrangement of flowers. It's so funny that I'm seeing a blue jay in this oracle card because I talked about blue jays today. Somebody needs to look up what why blue jays are significant, but I do see here that there is some sort of family content energy or happiness. We have domesticated happiness here. Okay, your family will be happy that you are receiving or giving a precious gift, but somebody could want you to do something. Somebody here could be congested. I'm hearing like there's a congestion. This could be on the road. This could be um, in your sinuses or your chest cavity. Somebody could be sick or coming down with the cold. Tell me more for Virgo. Wow. So we have I. So there's a need to use your intuition or is there's something that you're picking up on that you need to trust when it comes to a Taurus, okay? Yeah, somebody is undependable and insincere. Somebody's really not on your side or there's somebody that could be um, some time is you need to watch out for this person but whatever it is that they're going to do or intentionally trying to do, you will witness their karma slowly but surely getting ahead somebody's trying to get you jammed up or um trying to stagnate or delay some sort of monies or trying to make you penny pinch okay somebody sees that your your birthday could be coming up or something like that and they know that you're trying to balance something out before your birthday or something like that and they're trying to fuck with it okay they know that you want to go out and have fun so they're trying to deplete you or make you uh, spend more than you need to so that when your birthday comes around you don't have this but you already have luck coming in somebody is a weirdo tell me more about this hidden secrets that can harm you that you don't have to worry about okay i'm telling you whatever these secrets are somebody thinks that it's gonna hurt you Okay, or they're doing something to put it out there so that you will have a backfiring experience, but you're taking care of in difficult times. Okay, we have December, so this could be somebody that's a Capricorn. Okay, a fire sign. We have an opportunity or windfall. So somebody here could be speaking on an opportunity that they know about or that they're asking around for. The most difficult part of a situation is over between December and January. Okay, so there's something that may be coming up for you that somebody is trying to stagnate. All right, let's see here. Message for Virgo. Look, somebody here may need to get more information on a person that they're dating or that they're talking to. Okay, or somebody is trying to get close to you as their twin flame connection so that 
They have info, the big scoop on you. You have honest conversation. Somebody here is in a negative space or the type of uh, communication they want to have is negative here. Or somebody could be trying to uplift a person because of what's going on in their life. Somebody could be having a hard time with their family. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so we have choose a new direction. So with this Nine of Cups coming in, whoever this potential suitor is, Spirit is telling you to choose a new direction and focus on forgiveness. Allow healing waters to wash away the pain of the past, if you believe. Be the change here to your own life. Let's see. Message from Virgo. So there's an opportunity that will allow you to have like a flourishing effect with abundance or something that you're supposed to receive. We have weight. So something here is in the works for you to have an opportunity for. It could be in matters of the heart, love, or compassion. This is supposed to be a healing connection where you're going to fall in love with somebody. Yeah. Okay. So something is being manifested. Okay, so there is a breakout altercation with frenemies. Okay, somebody here could be arguing with a frenemy. This could be a Libra. We have drug lord or kingpin. So there could be an argument between a group of people over some type of drugs, money, or um, how something is supposed to be ran or something like that. Tell me more about this breakout altercation with frenemies. Breakout altercation with frenemies. Why is this here for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. This has something to do with a feminine energy. Okay, so whoever this person is, she's a fire sign. She's definitely trying to have you caught up into some sort of trouble, okay? This could be at your job, when it comes to a family member or associate. This could be someone that is your child's father for some of you. Uh, this could be somebody that could be the head of their own business. Tell me more about this um, emperor, the eight of wands, and the seven of swords. Somebody here could be trying to get you to incriminate yourself or do something out of impulse. Let's see. The two of wands. Somebody's going to have to decide or this could be travel, relocation, or something like that. Somebody wants you to make an impulsive decision or um, get you to listen to what they're telling you so that you'll end up in the five of pentacles energy somebody's trying to set up a trap for you to uh fuck yourself okay okay where you might have to leave a situation the hangman but i feel like there's there's a way i heard the word impression okay i don't know what this is or what it might mean for you but i feel like somebody here needs to show up for themselves or this is something that you're doing you could be um, trying to better yourself when it comes to your work the things that you're dedicated to or making yourself feel better by having some type of retail therapy spending time with yourself you know developing self-love okay this is your justice here tell me a little bit more about this libra that you're supposed to be in some type of dealings with, possibly. You could be a Libra with water in your chart, or this is somebody that you're dealing with. Okay, so we have the Strength card, Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. So this has something to do with family, 
uh, marriage, love, a home, solid foundation. Somebody here is receiving some type of credit, okay? In the social media world or when it comes to work or money. Somebody could be getting some type of upheaval in their finances. There could be um, money distributed, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, somebody's gonna get the opportunity to move, to um, officiate their relationship or a connection that they have to somebody or whatever this is. I feel like for some of you, there are people that are sad about this, okay? You could be officializing something or somebody could want to uh, tell the world about you or announce, like, whatever this is, this will be the right time to announce something. Yeah. That's what I'm picking up on. Let's see here. So somebody may have to give something up or this could be a produ producer. We have, I'm telling you, photo proof. I heard produce, getting evidence. Somebody here is getting, getting evidence for something. They're doing it through a blocked number or secret accounts. Somebody here is trying to prove that you're marrying for money or you're trying to find someone that you could live off of or whatever this is here. But the person is not really interested. Somebody wants to cyber bully you in regards to this situation. That's crazy. We have grudge holder. Somebody here may think that you're holding a grudge or there's somebody holding a grudge against you because of some sort of karmic trigger, cycle, or lessons that they have to learn by being bankrupt or not having any money to protect or take care of themselves. Yeah, somebody's trying to force something on you, okay? Or maybe talking shit about you to get their way or get what they want. Wow. Somebody needs your help and they think that going against you or disrespecting you is going to get them what they want. Tell me more about this grudge holding. Wasting time. Somebody here wants to keep you stuck with no change or limited access to time. Okay, cyberbullying. So you are being bullied online or there has, or you have suffered from it, but somebody feels fucked up over what they've talked about. Okay, because now they're broke. What's the message here for Virgo? Yeah, you're too busy winning. Somebody here is too busy winning. We have bad credit, debt, unemployed, memories, and giving money. Somebody here made a bad investment to whom they gave money to, but now you've turned that all around to be busy winning. But somebody here with shady intentions or um, whatever this is is trying to sweet talk you to put you through spiritual warfare. Somebody's behind this. Somebody wants to use um, magic and all of that to cause you to be in some type of spiritual warfare because they're going through bad times with their finances or you won't help them because you, they want you to. Stress, obsession, turbulence, tension, and arguments. And then we have infatuation, adoration, addiction. And we have shocking. And we have withdrawn. So somebody's stressed out because of some sort of obsession that they have with a person or themselves being single. Somebody here is about to have some sort of shocking attack, turmoil, trouble, or unexpected energies. It's a divine feminine. Somebody that you trusted that could be your soulmate or twin flame. 
may be trying to target your person to get to run away from you. Somebody here is trying to get you ghosted by a person that want wanted to be with you or see where things would go. All because they can't stop thinking about you. They're stressed out that you're withdrawn from them. Let's see. Somebody's trying to ruin your reputation. Or cock block, in other words. We have tension, stressed out, migraines, or worry. Why is somebody tense? tense because they feel like they're running out of time or they're procrastinating or they have become too busy and consumed in one area over another. Somebody doesn't consider their time to be very balanced because there's a lot to do. Somebody feels like they're drowning, okay? Somebody wants to become your divine masculine. That's right for you. But I feel like they've exhausted every opportunity to do that and it's starting to look like somebody is just out for your your happiness okay somebody wants you to be isolated because they're envious of your happiness they can't seem to figure out like why they've become such a psychopath okay instead of putting all of their energy into you know healing themselves why they've chosen this path somebody to enslave you you are ready to pick up this creative hat that you found to showcase who you are through your creativity or what your abilities are your talents yeah somebody could be giving their willpower to an external authority out of fear of making their own choices we have storyteller so somebody has the ability to experience and express life through stories and symbols so somebody is trying to pitch what they've been through in order to get people to cling to them. Somebody's trying to steal a moment from you. What's the message? I heard somebody only bullies people when when there are bystanders around. Okay, they they like to get a, a epic moment. Okay, we have exorcist. Fear of facing your own demons. Somebody's in fear of facing their own demons. That's why they give over willpower to external authority people. Okay, somebody has a delusional rapport with the divine just to be able to express insights in symbolic language. Somebody, somebody is so desperate to be taught or to give um, inspiration to tap into the divine nature, but they can't do it. Somebody wants to be divine so bad. That's crazy. So I feel like you're building up trust between yourself and other people. But somebody here could be frustrated about having to survive doing this. But all you do is give human goodness or kindness to others, which is why you get everything that everything that you ask God for. Okay. Coming into some sort of luck as well. Somebody has no idea about something. Somebody's going into something blindfully. It has something to do with a loss. Somebody could be C813. Somebody's losing themselves just to receive a blessing. So this is a sacrifice. Somebody's willing to sacrifice themselves to gain everything, which could um, result in. Um, sorrow, damage, or bereavement. Tell me more about this loss. Wow. 
wow, somebody could be losing themselves all for greed, okay? Somebody needs to explore, get away, you know, kind of center themselves to what they're passionate about because it looks like somebody's pretending to act like everything is good, that they sleep well, and even if they do, they're still feeling like they're excessively obligated or overwhelmed to do something. It kind of makes somebody feel alone, but they have to build compromise and they're not getting much compromise. Somebody could be born 1984. Somebody needs to stop falling asleep and eating late at night. Somebody could have a um, work schedule of 8 to 4. Okay. We have promise. So somebody here is responsible. Somebody wants to make themselves responsible for something by initiating it. Somebody here could be responsible for a robbery, um, an unfair and justified situation to exploit another, just to see someone go through a natural disaster. Somebody definitely was collecting what a person may have been able to preserve. Okay. But I feel like this was planned. Somebody's going to jail for taking something that belonged to you that you were preserving for so that you would be homeless. Okay. Somebody here may have gone to a tarot reader, or this could be a tarot reader that's causing you to have some type of supernatural dark energies around you to curse your, your blessing so you won't be able to have it, so beware, okay? seeing 888 because I'm definitely seeing it. You have so much power, uh, perseverance, abundance, power, if I didn't say that before. Let's see. Six of scrolls. It says the sands of time, and we have the king of keys. So let's see what the sands of time is about. Okay, so this card shows that in some matter of importance, time is of the essence. There could be an opportunity that you don't want to miss. It may be a project, a situation, or a personal connection that requires action or even completion. You might have had some delays or you may have been highly active and industrious for some time. Either way, keep going. Your focus and effort are still required in order to get to the end game. Don't let worry steer you away from your goal. There is more yet to do, so do not give up. Okay, let's see what this King of Keys is about. So, whether the King of Keys represents you or another person, be on the lookout for a major promotion, a heightening of income, or a furthering of career achievements. Careers in finance, real estate, and businesses are typical for the King of Keys, but management in any industry can be forthcoming. This may also be a good time for self-employment and business expansion for you or a man in your life. So this is very interesting. Time is of the essence when it comes to a promotion, a business ideal, or um, something taking effect when it comes to like your creativity, a business offer or opportunity or something you're supposed to gain, okay? more messages for Virgo. So we have overthinking, triggered, and mental prison. 
you have a karmic partner that has karmic lessons that's overthinking, he's in a mental imprisonment. Yeah, because you get to celebrate because you have good karma and he can't attend. Okay, this party. Somebody here is trying to telepathically send you a message in regards to a proposal, marriage, love, or business offer. This could be the reason why the King of Keys is here. He's trying to pull up with a proposal that he's telepathically sending you. Because it looks like he's leaving behind the options that he had, which he doesn't feel is you know, aligning to whatever this is, but I feel like he's facing his fears or facing old wounds of manipulation from people that he was around, but he held back and didn't say much about it because he wasn't allowed to or whatever this was. But he definitely wants to leave a situation, okay? He no longer wants to have any more communication with the third party. He wants a promising offer, or this is you. What's the message here? Okay, so we have not enough, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, e ego issues, and jealousy. We have dragonfly at the bottom of the deck. So somebody is frustrated in a relationship and they're coming in to tell you this, that they couldn't let go of the connection wholeheartedly because they knew that a part of them wanted to be with you still, but they had to let go of this narcissist energy in order to accept their divine self, okay? All right, so we do have stabbed in the back and we have the golden mirror. So defeat, I don't know why I said defeat. So stabbed in the back, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Somebody feels like they've defeated the purpose of building or formulating a connection because of them being self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided, and love bombing. Okay? Somebody wants to leave their player ways and narcissism behind so that they can choose to do the right thing. But they're afraid that you may want this relationship to be over. Or they feel like it's granted that you would want that. That you wouldn't want to be with them anymore. Alright, let's see here. Okay, so it looks like there's something that's being harvested around the fall time. Or something um, pertaining to... Um, the leaves or the ground or whatever this is or this could be in the woods or whatever something is being buried so that a person could harvest it whenever they're ready to pick it back up it has something to do with a love or affection from a divine masculine Somebody has buried their feelings for you, but they know when they're ready to accept it. They can harvest and, and have it here. There's a tower moment that could be coming up for you, whether good or bad. We have detachment. So there is a masculine energy that could be detached from themselves because of some sense of stability that could be off that they're trying to harmonize or balance. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Message for Virgo. So we have Yin Yang. Somebody here could be a twin flame or soulmate. Whoever this person is, they're from the past and you felt like there was a place of lack or that you suffered from dealing with this person. That was a twin flame. Somebody wants to apologize for letting you go through something longer than you needed to. Okay. Let's see. 
taught me more. Okay, so it looks like there's some sort of um, unexpected situation when it comes to child support, alimony, or government situations here. Okay, somebody want somebody's trying to use you to shield them from something that they're going through, or this is vice versa. That's why they want to come together with you. All right. So we do have some sort of communication. Or a message that's coming in or somebody wanting to send you a message I feel like it's it's distorted like this this messaging or communication could be distorted somebody can't quite find their way back to you whoever this person is they're a twin flame connection why can't they can find their way back to you what is the problem there's some sort of static in somebody delivering or giving you a message I feel like it's because somebody's pretending Okay, somebody's using this pretending energy to um, create memories so that they will be able to pop up. Somebody wants to pop up on your ass, Virgo. This could be a water sign or somebody that has water in their chart. I feel like now that something is fluid or balanced for somebody, they're realizing how the grass was greener on your side here. Ah, look at that. Somebody's realizing the grass was greener on your side and they still have a thing for you here. Yeah, somebody's developing some sort of self-love or um, they want to live up to the expectations of giving you the offer that you deserve. So they, they're willing and ready to wait until you're ready to offer or not offer, but receive an offer. Somebody could just be using this offer to ghost a person that they feel has kept them bound for quite some time or under their spell. They got tired of living life that way. So somebody could be using you as the great escape or they just had a change of heart. Somebody wants to go in a different direction. Somebody has a spiritual awakening, okay, of wanting a family or giving you the family that you deserve by procreation yeah let's see here tell me more message for Virgo Okay, so somebody here has a gift for you, or you have something coming in between the next 24 to 48 hours because you are a chosen one, an empath, a, a person with spiritual gifts. This could be coming in within the next 24 to 48 hours to eight weeks, or it may take eight weeks to, to um, be put together or whatever this is. Okay, we have investigation. Somebody could be annoyed or upset and they want to find out why, or this is you. I feel like your characteristics fits the description for something. Somebody could be contacting you in jail because they've lost their way or they feel like they're misguided. I heard something about nonsense. Your health is intact. Okay, you're in a new circle of people or relationships. We have bail or bail bondsmen, bailiff. Okay, somebody's being bailed out or somebody wants out of a situation. Somebody here could be talking to the dead or communicating with the dead here. Hmm. Somebody that's going through spiritual warfare, it's like, whew, somebody played with some really bad shit. All right? Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one.